Miles. Michael Tang from San Jose State has already won the Player of the Year. Can he add the X Bowling Intercollegiate Men's Singles Championship to his mantle? Find out next. Welcome to the X Bowling Intercollegiate Men's Singles Championships in one of the capitals of college bowling, North Rock Lanes in Wichita, Kansas. Hello again, everybody. I'm Dave Lamont. Thank you for joining us. You hear this enthusiasm. This is why we love college bowling on the team and individual level so much. This kind of crowd and the same enthusiasm from our four athletes. 24 started this event. Only four remain, and here they are. Now, let's meet the gentlemen competing for the men's national title in the 2015 X Bowling Intercollegiate Singles Championships. First, from Lindenwood, Andre Fors. From Notre Dame, Ohio, Miko Walker. From Moorhead State, Devin Miller. From San Jose State University, Michael Tang. And joining us on the telecast today is one of the great players of the modern era, the winner of the 2010 PBA Tournament of Champions, the first woman to win a men's major, and she did so convincingly. She's won them all, team competitions, individual competitions. Let's welcome Kelly Kulik. And Kelly, you understand this atmosphere as well as any player we can think of. What is it like for these bowlers to be out here today? The atmosphere is unlike any other. There's a lot of energy in the room, a lot of clapping, a lot of cheering. They're going to have to channel their emotions and just make good shots. All right, so how much do you actually think when you're out there winning, 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 or are you just focused on one shot at a time? The best thing a player can do is have one focus of their physical game and just take each shot one frame at a time. Now, out of these events, We've gotten a real growth from college bowling into the professional ranks. The PBA Tour is now loaded with guys who have been in this event. Why do you think we're getting this kind of young talent onto the tour? All the youth programs building up to this moment, USBC Junior Goal, the boys bowling uh, junior programs, it just gives them building blocks into their future and hopefully join the PBA. All right, we've got three matches for you. Let's get to the bracket. So our first match will be the number nine seed, Andre Fors against the 12th seed, Miko Walker from Notre Dame, Ohio. Then Devin Miller from Moorhead State, number two seed, and from San Jose State, Michael Tang, the number 19 seed. And the winners will go on for the X Bowling Intercollegiate Men's Singles Championships. Kelly, our future for the sport lane pattern, what are they bowling on today? The men right now are bowling on a 46-foot pattern, medium volume. How it's going to play, if you see that little block inside, that's called a shim or a little wall. Most of the men will either have a good choice of playing further out to the right around the five or six board, or the other ones are going to favor their game and move inward around the fadeaway shot around 17. Always interesting to see who's going to throw that first shot to start an event like this, and it's going to be Andre Fours from Lindenwood. He qualified sixth at Smyrna, Tennessee. Averaged just a hair under 202 during the season. Has a little experience under his belt. Been here last year in the team event. Let's see how he does on his first shot. Gotta imagine this was a very, very difficult shot to throw to start a show. Mm. And he gets a little bit of action. It's something you were mentioning to me before the show that you think this is going to be a day where you're going to see a lot of pins flying around off walls and maybe not so many super solid pocket hits. Absolutely. The pattern is dictating two places really to play far outside or in the middle part of the lane. Chances are you're not going to split the eight nine but you need a little help from the pins to make them dance and make them fall. Easy spare to pick up spare ball change. Nine is a good leave if you can't get ten. A solid start for Andre Fours, member of the Mexico national team, gold medalist at the 2013 Papcon Youth Championships. We get our first look now at Notre Dame, Ohio's Miko Walker and the junior golds in 2012. He was perfect, shot 300 in one of the matches there. First time on television, you have to imagine he has some nerves in the stomach. Starts it out. 
down right and gets the kick. Oh, there it is. During warm-ups, you've been watching him very closely, and uh, you thought he was having a hard time finding the right shot. Yeah, he was all over the lane. Watch his foot stops at the foul line. He's got good extension through his follow through. Let's see where the ball again right in that zone that five six zone not giving the pocket away. Pins dance a little bit. He catches good break. So despite the struggles just a few minutes before we started he comes in solidly with a strike. And buried it that wow. time. Now he moved in a little bit there didn't he? He did Dave if you notice he made a ball change and an angle change. Let's see what he did. His feet are deeper inside. He's going to slide right around board 21. Ball passes through 14 at the hours right at that last indicator mark. And wow, what a great pocket shot. Bold move on his part. Two different balls, two different angles, playing the lanes entirely differently. So Andre Fours, through no fault of his own, is down 10 early. Knows that he got a break. Those are the kind of breaks you look for as a bowler. Let's take a look at our ex bowling road to the finals. And here's how Andre mentioned his qualifying ninth and defeated the 24th seed. Peyton Stump from Midland, the eighth seed, Joshua Roca from Nassau Community College, and then Sean Black from Davenport in an exciting 639 618 battle to get to where we are now. That could have been considerably worse. You see mom and dad are undoubtedly relieved. Yeah, that was definitely a different shot. Got a little fast with his feet, fell off balance. The ball further inside of that 10 mark indicator down the lane. Caught a lucky break just to leave the 6-10 spare. Again, going to that hard plastic ball. Straighter is greater. See if he converts a spare. Don't chop it. All right. Yeah. Take that big, you see the exhale right before he <laughs> went through his motion to relieve the nerves a little bit. Always a good idea for anybody who gets a little nervous to blow out a little breath. Always hit the one in front. Miko Walker stepping back up. Let's see if he can add on to his. Momentum. I think he did. Ten straight back. Now, even I've noticed that he's playing these lanes a little differently. Mm -hmm. We'll take a look at the ex bowling road to the finals for Miko Walker. Qualifying 12th took out Andy Hendrick from Ohio State, Ben Pallady from Lindenwood, and Tyler Cruz from the great Wichita State program. Our de facto hosts here in Wichita, Kansas. Can he recreate it? My goodness. Wow. If you saw him five minutes before we started, you would have wondered how he was going to get through this with any strikes at all and he's just killing it right now. For competitors of all ages, bowling is for life. And USBC is with you every step of the way. USBC and you, a future for the sport. From the very minute you have this idea that you want to be in business, you need to have that card. Presentation is everything because they're not only first impression of you, but now you're handing them this product that really is kind of going to define your business in their mind pretty quickly. You want a very thick uh, card that feels nice in your client's hand. I think it's nice to have a choice because sometimes you want a glossy card. But for other projects, I don't want necessarily want all that. Your business card is a reflection of you. It should say exactly what you want. With a range of design, stock, and finish options at Vistaprint, it will. Get 500 business cards starting at just $9.99. Just enter promo code TV500 at vistaprint.com. That business card, when I make a connection with someone, 
It has to be phenomenal. It has to be elegant and invoke all the things that Diamond stands for. Just that professionalism is gonna make you, as a business owner, more successful. Just right off the bat. Vistaprint.com. What does color feel like? With our highest pixel density display ever, your world will be more vivid than ever. The Samsung Galaxy S6 and S6 Edge. This is what color feels like. F provokes lust. It elicits pride. Insights envy and unleashes wrath. Temptation comes in many heart-pounding forms, but only one letter. F, the performance mark from Lexus. The Men's X Bowling Intercollegiate Singles Championships on CBS Sports Network is being brought to you by Kegel. Your lanes, our passion. And by Storm, the bowler's company. Three frames remaining in our semifinal match with the X Bowling Intercollegiate Men's Singles Championships in Wichita. And Notre Dame, Ohio's Miko Walker, after a hot start that gave him a lead that Andre Force has not been able to cut into very much, working on a spare with a 27 pin lead, trying to make the finals. Way wide, gets one big kick to knock the four aside. So he's lost that strike shot, but so far he has managed to avoid anything like what happened to fours a couple of frames ago when he left a big split. Let's see the ball going down the lane. Oh, further right of around board 13. Ball never has a chance to pick up. Never gets the head pin, leaves the one two spare. It seems like his adrenaline is starting to kick in. He's really starting to accelerate the line. Now, looking ahead, do my Bo Burton math. 231 is Walker's possible high. And four is if he strikes out 226. So we could be on a collision course for an incredible finish here. All the good matches always come down to the 10th frame. These athletes, their skill level is, is high, energetic. It's going to come down to the 10th frame of this match. Sneak, and he got it. A double for Fours, his first one of this match. I don't know about you, Dave, but I want to believe in this center. <laughs> Side in the same spot. He's so consistent at his target point. Maybe a little accelerated, but boy, does that four pin slide over take out the two pin from behind. Again, that's his good lane. You know, Mom and Dad, much harder to watch. I can speak from experience. Uh, watch your sons or daughters compete in something as opposed to actually competing in it, Gustavo and Lorenza. Well, he's got some momentum. Back on this left lane, figured it out the last time. You'd have to think Bowling for Team Mexico has given some experience, some uh, some confidence coming into this match today. Yeah, just think of all the competition he's faced. Yeah. scary for a moment. Slightly just, inside. Yeah, that's. Here we go again. Look, down the lane, that indicator marker is a great view for you guys to see. Just inside of it, ball goes high, four pin spare. Yeah, that drops his max now to 205. But again, he's leaving makeable spares. Makeable spares to keep himself in the match, grinding frames waiting for the match. The one exception was on that right lane where every time he is struck, except when he left the 4-6-7, and that might be the glaring hole in this match for him. Hey, if you're looking for up-to-date bowling information at your fingertips, just check out USBC on Facebook at all your bowling news, your photos, and videos 
on your favorite website. Go to facebook.com slash USBC and click like. Walker on this right lane is where he's struck twice and an open and a spare. And Finn won't go anywhere, but that's still a solid throw. He's keeping himself alive and in this match, just trying to stay ahead. Here we see it, the ball again, just a little bit right. Seems like he got his speed under control, but if you watch that six pin, it just went horizontal and danced its way around the head. Yeah, that rang more than I thought it did Yeah. Uh, when, I, when I looked at the replay. Makeable spare. Well, we see that multicolored marble come out. We know he's going to be aggressive with it. I love watching these guys have such confidence in themselves. It's truly inspiring to watch them bowl. Makes you want to go back to school. <laughs> Except for the going to class part, I would agree with you completely. Up 15. coming out for this one. Yep, he's bringing out the spare ball. So if he can handle this and add seven to it, he moves on. He hasn't checked the scoreboard out, so he knows he's ahead. He knows he has to fill frames. He's just staying within himself, almost like he's got tunnel vision. How much scoreboard watching do you do in a match? None, none whatsoever. I'm focused on the pins. I still have to make a shot whether I need it or not. Seven, got eight, and that's that. Nico Walker from Notre Dame, Ohio, and South Euclid, Ohio, has advanced to the championship. I'm outside. Where are you? I'm right here. I'm in the Buick. I don't see a Buick. Oh, got it. Uncle, the expectation shattering crossover from Buick. Wow. Hey. During the Buick Spring Sales Event, pay no interest for five years, plus get $750 purchase bonus cash on the 2015 Encore. Hey. Strong can heal from miles away. Unite us for a common good. Unite. And turn a simple video into endless laughter. <laughs> Strong can take you all the way to the summit. That's so cool! Think what Strong can do for you. Can I play too? <laughs> AT&T's network has the nation's strongest 4G LTE signal. We're here on the street doing online car insurance quotes from The General. So what do you think? The General's online site is really quick and easy to use. My payments were cheaper. I didn't even have to give my personal information to get a quote. Find out if the General can save you money on car insurance. Our rates, down payment, and monthly payments are low, and the General's customer satisfaction rating is 97%. Get an anonymous online quote now. For a great low rate you can get online, go to the General and save some time. Keep the whole gang happy with endless baby back ribs from Golden Corral. Dinner's just $11.99. Unlimited baby back ribs with KC Masterpiece Barbecue Sauce. Original hickory brown sugar or smoky chipotle. Golden Corral, the best buffet in the USA. Your Marine Corps' way of life is to defend the American way of life.
every day. No matter where we serve, we take a stand for our nation, for each other, for us all. The few, the proud, the Marines. Well, anything could happen on a day like this. The possibilities are just can't be his. There are no reasons left to stand. Beautiful day in Wichita, Kansas. Great bowling city. Wichita Shockers men's and women's program is among the elite in all of college bowling. And there's a great look at our crowd. A lot of the athletes, even those who have, teams have been eliminated, stuck around to watch the singles and root on for their teammates in the case of Michael Tang standing there from San Jose State and from Moorhead State. I can't think of any prominent college bowlers that have come out of Moorhead State. It'll come to me. Devin Miller. I kid because Kelly Kulik, of course, would be a prominent bowler who's come out of Moorhead State. Bluegrass State, lovely state of Kentucky. Wave wide right, and now how often do you see the head pin left behind? Michael Tang has done the unusual. Never, I'm speechless. Wow, look how deep inside the lane he's playing. Such a wide launch angle at the foul line going through board 20. This ball doesn't have a prayer to get back. He is so fortunate just to leave a single pin spare and it's the head pin. Well, first nerves, first time. I mean, he's been here before. He's been on the TV program before. And he just smashes the head pin and turns away from it almost contemptuously. And we get our first look at Devin Miller out of Moorhead State, hometown of Dundee, New York. Played initially at Erie, and now as a junior, transferred into Moorhead. Club championships most valuable player and a left-hander. And drills it. All right. All the right-handers are now screaming at their TV sets. The lefties have the advantage. The lefties have the advantage. If that's true, how so? Four step basic approach. He gets to the line. Look at his sliding foot. It's already ahead of the ball. Foot stops. Ball comes through. He's very tall right here at the at a swing. Not so much leverage in his legs, but he's using a lot of his upper body. How about the breaking down of the lanes? Because he's got nobody in front of him playing that shot. No, he's all on his own. He's created his own path to the pocket for himself. It could be advantageous for him in this match. Crossed over and got a very friendly kick on the seven to open with a double. Let's see what happens here. Looks like he's a little bit inside his target compared to the right lane. Ball hits high on the head pin, almost a Brooklyn strike. Catches a lucky break. All 10 fall down. First time on television. He has to have a lot of nerves. He talked to me early before and said the same thing. He's just going out to make good shots and give it a whirl. Michael Tang is a collegiate player of the year and a member of Junior Team USA. Yeah, that's major trouble there. One, two, four, six, ten. What one happened? Wide on that release, Michael is playing a part of the lane so further inside than the other two bowlers did. There is just so much oil down the portion of the lane. And again, the ball never picked up in the mid portion to try to change direction. And he must have saw something in practice that feels he has to be that deep this part of the game. How much do you think these guys are? How much would you recommend that they watch the prior match? A lot of strategy involved. You, I would have to watch the prior match. Can he get it? Nope. So they leave it open in the second and fall behind 26 after just two frames. Wow, he gets right here. Ball is just left of the head pin trying to deflect it in the 6-10. Six, six just falls slightly in front of the 10. Doesn't have enough energy to take it out. Well, a bad break for that head pin to fly over the Ted pin, too. I thought that might have had a chance to kiss it and knock it back. Oh. 
Still that deep part of the lane. However, not as deep, and he was able to rally that in for it, a badly needed strike. Take a look at our ex bowling road to the finals. First off for Devin Miller. He was the number two qualifier. Look at that average. Almost 212. And defeated Joshua Anderson and Zachary Brandt. And look at they win over Anderson by one pin. Knocked the bucket aside and leaves himself the three six. Again, Devin's in his own part of the lane, just light on the head pin ball, doesn't quite have enough energy to go towards the nine pin. Leaves himself again the three six throw conversion. Oh, and a bad break on that. Usually you're something worried about a chop in that situation, but that time he just spun the three around the six. Look here, the spare ball, direct route to it, but just doesn't have quite enough angle for the three pin to go into the six pin. Again, 46 feet. That is three quarters of the lane. It's so much of the lane with 27 mils of loyal. It's uh, the ball has to be on target. Can we recover here? That time a little bit light. So suddenly a 137 in his future. Here we go, let's see. From the back portion of the foul line, he goes to release the ball. Looks like he has a little angle of the ball going from right to left, and the ball just never had a chance to get towards the pocket. This lane condition makes it so crucial to execute and make quality shots. And after a very promising start, he's come back with back-to-back -back open. So he has doubled and he has opened twice. And all of a sudden, Michael Tango at one point was down by 26. It's just down by one. And we take a look at his ex-bowling road to the finals. 19th qualifier. But he got into a shootout with Christopher Colorado of Wichita State. Rolled a 7-1. Matt McNeil, great player from Wichita State. 636 to 630. And then Cameron Weir from Robert Morris, Illinois. Another one of those strong programs. And that was a close one, too. Oh, we have a ball change. But uh oh. And again, the second time on that lane in this match, he has left the head pin and that alone. He just looks so confused. He's not sure where to play in the lane. He made a ball change. He moved further right, so he's not crossing as many boards right in that 15, but his angle through the front portion of the lane is so wide, he's giving away too much of the head pin. All right, so the, the question that begs to be asked here is we see his, oh. yeah, look at that. Where do you tell him to throw the ball? He's got to figure it out on his own. He needs to get into the portion of the lane where Miko was or where Andre was, not give up the head pin so much. He's creating so much angle through the front portion of the lane, and there's just not enough friction down the lane for the ball to recover. And the one thing we've talked about, even with professionals like yourself, when we've done professional telecasts and we talk talked to the college players, they all say the same thing. The TV experience flies by. Yes. So he doesn't really have a lot of time to figure this out. The good news for him is he's in the match. He's not being blown out. He's just There's just a one-pin difference at the moment. So there's still time as we get ready to go to frame number five here for him to figure this out. I think he's relying on Devin's inexperience on the TV and hoping he can find his way to the pocket on both lanes. Again, back to the more aggressive ball. He catches the shaker. Yep. Now that's back-to-back -back strikes on that lane. Again, more aggressive ball deep inside. Look where he's going through the arrows, like 23, right to that indicator mark in the back. Ball deflects, makes the pins move around a little bit and jiggle. Knocks down 10. Now we go back to the left-hander, Devin Miller. Oh, come on, come on. There we go. Catches the lucky break. Let's see, now the ball, see it's motion going through the pins. Again, just not enough ball ran out of energy. Leaving the 7-10, catches the lucky roll from the pin. Gives him the break for a single pin spare. Oh, trouble. We'll be back with more from the X Bowling Intercollegiate Singles Championships right after this.
competitors of all ages, bowling is for life. And USBC is with you every step of the way. USBC and you, a future for the sport. I loved my trusty Honda, but I kept noticing all the amazing tech new cars have lately. How much for this? Two bucks. So I looked around. When is this even from? Uh, I don't know. And I decided to leave my Honda. For a new Honda. My Accord EXL has super cool tech features like forward collision warning, audio touchscreen, and Honda Lane Watch. New is good. How much for this? Oh, that's, uh, that's not for sale. Oh. Hey! Start something special with an Accord EXL from Honda. Thanks to Gold Bond Powder Spray's fresh scent, I smell as good as I look. Is that even possible? Gold Bond Powder Spray cools and dries your body and leaves you with a fresh, clean scent all over. Stay cool with Gold Bond. You, my friend, recognize when a trend has reached critical mass. Yes, when others focus on one thing, you see what's coming next. You see opportunity. That's what a Type E does. And so it begins. With E-Trade's Investing Insights Center, you can spot trends before they become trendy. E-Trade, opportunity is everywhere. That was beautiful. Who are you? I'm the Wyndham Rewards Wizard. Then it's time to create some memories together. Is he on your side of the phone? I thought we were honeymooning in Reno. Was this magic? No. Your husband earned this. So what do we do now? It's your honeymoon. I'm sure you'll think of something magical. <laughs> 15,000 points get you a free night at over 7,500 hotels. Sign up at WyndhamRewards.com today. With a spot in the X Bowling Intercollegiate Singles Championship on the line, we move ahead to the eighth frame. Devin Miller finally off of a strike, so he has not made a spare. So he talked a little bit to us earlier today about Moorhead State and what makes it such a great place to be. I think Moorhead's a great school. It's small, but it, it feels homey. And we have a bowling center on campus, so that's a great, great way for people to learn and learn how to drill bowling balls and how to play the lanes. It's pretty cool. So suddenly, the no spare string continues, and he's thrown a double and cut the lead to 11. He's come back around. I think he's getting a little more settled. The break did him some good. Going back to what he highlighted, Moorhead State, great university, so small, so home feeling like. Michael, another ball change. Well, Back we know one thing. Ball. Well, the other ball, let's see what happens here. This one didn't go quite as far wide right, but it still doesn't get to the head pin, leaving him with a tricky shot with that sleeper back there. Well, he went to the more aggressive bowling ball. The last frame he was switching to a very high road ball. This one more aggressive, trying to get the ball to pick up sooner. But wow, this ice oil, the more you bowl on it, it tends to carry down the part of the lane making it a little bit tighter and the ball just never changed direction. Good news for him is the left lane's coming soon. <laughs> he, he'll probably want to take the left lane home with him back to California but the right lane he'll be happy to leave behind. And he has to finish on this lane. Yeah it's an excellent point. Gonna go right at it look out for that sleeper boy. He's no margin for error there. San Jose State also has had a very dignified college program. Some great bowlers have come out of there. Particularly on the women's side, Hall of Famers Kim Terrell Kearney and Linda Barnes, also Tony Reyes. Great success out of San Jose State Spartans. Mom and Dad are here. Tracy and Thomas. Team Tang, lifetime member, I would think so. Staying with a more aggressive ball in this left lane. Didn't get the 10. Six is for a lay down there on him. Excellent shot. Not so too. I think he thinks so. 
Here, let's see the ball path here again, deep inside. He's right around the same target he's been on that lane, right at the indicator mark. A six pin just doesn't quite go into the 10 pin, goes falls right in front of the gutter. He was so satisfied with the shot, but disappointed with the outcome. His brother, Aaron, a senior on the San Jose team. Bowling family. Yep, absolutely. And a darn good one, too. I imagine the uh, family games are pretty competitive. There's Darren, and he can barely look. I'm sure to see this future all star in, in future events. Can't afford a mistake, and he didn't make one. Well, a new era in youth bowling has begun, and the USA Bowling program needs you. USA Bowling has free seminars so you can learn the basic skills to teach youth bowlers the sport. Please visit bowl.com slash USA Bowling Coaching to learn more. And the future of the sport's extremely bright, as you see just from the collegiate ranks and even younger. More than ever. For three in a row, no. The big four. He knows he's fallen behind in the match. He has to catch up. Let's look at the ball again. Just inside of his target, the ball has no chance to deflect down the lane. Here he has to get two to try to keep himself in the match. Going to have to be super aggressive at this, and they'll pick up one of the four. And we mentioned San Jose State has done well, and so has Moorhead State. Of course, Kelly Kulik, but <laughs> Liz Johnson, we've all heard of her. Sharon Todd, Robin Orlikowski, and Joy Esterson. So, uh, incredible success from the Eagles of Moorhead State. Liz and I went at separate times, but her legacy still lives on at that university. I would think so. It lives on in professional bowling today. Yeah, a little light there as well. Single pin spare. You know, Devin came onto these lanes. The other two gentlemen broke down the portion of the lane inside, giving Michael a little bit more of a track area, and Devin had to do it all on its own. So, unfortunately, the practice time he had may not have built a good groove into the lane, and now he's just trying to finish. Devin makes the spare on a high note. First time ever on television. was the club championship MVP. Qualified third at Smyrna, Tennessee. And he'll leave the six, and that's it. Michael Tang has won this match. A difficult one for both players. Neither of them really able to get into any kind of a groove, but Michael Tang, the Collegian Player of the Year, will advance. What do they say in the NCAA basketball tournament? Survive in advance. And this match was the perfect example of that. We believe in possibilities. We're about getting things done, challenging traditions, and starting a few of our own. You see, we find new ways to do things. We like our way of living and taking care of our land. Who are we? We are Kubota. Adventurers. Explorers. Photographers. Journalists. Directors. Innovators. Do their work justice with the LG OLED TV. Perfect black, intense color, incredible awe. LG, the official corporate partner of the NCAA. The Fantasy Sports Hall of Fame presents former accountant Derek Bradley. DraftKings One Day Fantasy Baseball took him from a guy with holes in his underpants, a guy with bikini models in them. How do they do it? DraftKings.com. They have one-day games, so you're not locked in. It's like a new season every time you play. And best of all, you could win a shipload of money. Play with DraftKings, the official daily fantasy partner of MLB. Play with promo code HIT and get free entry in our daily contest. Get to DraftKings.com.
The semifinals have seen Miko Walker from Notre Dame, Ohio advance. Michael Tang from San Jose State meets him for the championship of the X Bowling Intercollegiate Singles, the men's division. Dave Lamont, Kelly Kulik here in lane side, and here's how we got on our X Bowling road to the finals. Miko Walker, Kelly, started off hot and then just sort of hung around and filled frames to the end. Yes, he did, defeating my uh, defeating fours, 207, 204. Here we see Michael Tang moving on, defeating Devin Miller, 169 to 152. A difficult match, Miller opening with a double, but had a stretch of, very difficult stretch of open frames. There's our friend Tim Minar, the chairman and CEO of X Bowling, and he'll be handing out hardware following our singles match to either Michael Tang, whom you see there, the Collegian Player of the Year, or Miko Walker. And is that another ball? That is another ball change. And Tang on the left lane where he did well in the last match and continues to do so as that nine pin took a lick it. Yeah, he decided to start the match. Let's see Michael here in his execution. Ball paralyzed ball again, same spot of the lane. If you can see those indicator marks down the lane, ball just changes direction. A little high, passes by the nine pin, but gets a shaker from the sidewall to take it out. And again, we talked about that first shot. New match starts. The lights are still hot. The lanes have not been re-oiled. Constant adjustments have to be made by these players. And that's the same strategy we saw Walker in his semifinal match to attack that right lane, but he hung it out too far to the right. Let's see Mika. One, two, three. He takes that giant leap to the left on that last step. Forcing him to open the lane a little up to the right. Ball again doesn't pick up soon enough. That's an attack with a head pin and he did it. Boy, that's a great shot. Five plus five equals spare. Ball, as you can see here, just left of the head pin, deflecting it over to the six pin, takes out the ten. What a spare. What a conversion. Okay, you see Martez and Rick. Brother and father. They look so calm. Not if we x rayed their insides. <laughs> Guarantee you there'd be some acid churning right now. And that time he's wide right again. Based on where he played earlier, now he's further outsider towards the right portion of the gutter. That's what I was going to ask because he had to sit a match and watch, and the lanes have changed. So. Yep. Again, he's starting further right than he did in the last match. Even watching Michael Tang play deeper inside, now he's in a part of the lane that hasn't been played at all. Ball goes very long, not even getting there. A lot of strategy involved in watching the previous match. But excellent. Listen, he's not leaving anything open. Six spares, good. Nine spares, better. As a bowler, you want to see the ball change direction. You need to see the ball pick up in the portion of the lane in order to know where to move to. If there's too much oil, you're guessing. Is it inward or outward? Have to see it change direction. Well, this has been the interesting part of our day here. Michael Tang versus the right lane. <laughs> Give one to Tang that time. I think the extra practice time during the break helped him get lined up on that right lane. Same ball he's using on the left lane. Pro aggressive ball. That's what I mean about the ball changing direction as it drove in towards the eight pin. Opens with a double. He's been here before. He seems comfortable. He's got a great support group behind him. No doubts running through his mind. And there's right there. That was his first strike on the right lane. Now here's his buddy, the left lane. Bang. He found something. Could be the ball change. A lot of strategy in this sport. He's so good thinking on his own, but it always helps to have that extra pair of eyes behind you to watch. As a player, you can't see the first eight feet of the lane. It's very crucial in, in understanding ball motion. His talented brother Darren, senior on the San Jose State team, in the shadows, keeping an eye on things. 
Through the nose, man, oh man. Let's look at Pico's reaction. Giant step left now, little inside of where he was on that last shot. Ball reads that move, makes that move, but unfortunately it's too early and too much. Well, he was wide, a little too far wide right, overcompensated a bit, so he's just going to have to go for count. Going for it. He'll get two out of that, leaving three behind. So now, Miko Walker was in the first match of this trio against Andre Forrest from Lindenwood, and here he is, first matches on the left side. See him on the left lane. He's sliding board 21, right around 14 of the hour zone, 43 feet. He's at 10. And he gets stuck with the 10 pin here. So he was definitely further inside in the first match than he was now. And as you see him over here, all right, sliding in the same spot. He's right in the same zone, but again, leaked it further right. So launch angles, how the ball is coming off your hand in the front portion of the lane determines where it's going to go in the back portion of the lane. That's why execution and repeatability is so important on this pattern. And if so, it's so sometimes hanging in there after a slow start. He's down 42. And it seems that Michael Tang has figured out what plagued him in the first match, and he got away with one. I mean, he bowled a 169 and won. He learned from his mistakes. He knew what he needed to do. Little coaching from his brother. He was able to make a ball change, and again, what directional change it has. Straight man. That might have been his best shot of the day right there. He's in the driver's seat. That was absolute perfection. He is an award winner. Michael Tang, the most valuable player at the NCBCA Collegiate Awards. Michael Coffey of Lindenwood, the Rookie of the Year, and the Kerm Helmer Coach of the Year, Lindsey Wong from the Spartans of San Jose State. Congratulations to all three of those. I, I thought it was his best shot all day. You know more than me. His fundamentals are so sound. Basic five-step approach, great leverage at the line. Ball roll, you see as it goes back towards the nine pin, doesn't deflect, maintains his energy. He's in the driver's seat. Wow, firmly belted in that driver's seat with the front five. Well, again, the previous matches had built up some friction, some dryness in the lane. So when I'm talking about that directional change, the ball is able to pick up because it sees that friction. He's further right than what he was in the previous match, and he's got great ball motion right now. I remember college bowling. He's a sophomore. Wow. And Walker fights back. We see a ball change and an angle change. He's been struggling outside on the right lane. And now he's seeing what Michael has and how advantageous it is. Changes back to the more aggressive ball. He's sliding a little bit deeper on this right lane than he is the other side. More aggressiveness. He had to make a change. Sometimes you can have a game plan, but you have to be able to change direction from time to time. He raised up as soon as he threw that. His body language telling him he didn't like the shot and he didn't really have any reason to as he leaves four behind. Another makeable spare. One, two, four, ten. We've seen a lot of artwork this week. I missed. The hole gets deeper. Meantime, Michael Tang has been perfection through five. For competitors of all ages, bowling is for life. And USBC is with you every step of the way. SBC and you, a future for the sport.
From the very minute you have this idea that you want to be in business, you need to have that card. Presentation is everything because they're not only first impression of you, but now you're handing them this product that really is kind of going to define your business in their mind pretty quickly. You want a very thick uh, card that feels nice in your client's hand. I think it's nice to have a choice because sometimes you want a glossy card, but for other projects, I don't want necessarily want all that. Your business card is a reflection of you. It should say exactly what you want. With a range of design, stock, and finish options at Vistaprint, it will. Get 500 business cards starting at just $9.99. Just enter promo code TV500 at vistaprint.com. That business card, when I make a connection with someone, has to be phenomenal. It has to be elegant and invoke all the things that Diamond stands for. Just that professionalism is going to make you, as a business owner, more successful just right off the bat. Vistaprint.com. What does color feel like? With our highest pixel density display ever, your world will be more vivid than ever. The Samsung Galaxy S6 and S6 Edge. Get $200 or more when you trade in any smartphone and buy a Galaxy S6 or S6 Edge. Fruit with a cool finish. Fruit on one side, cool on the other. Icebreakers Duo, a fruity cool way to break the ice. We believe in possibilities. We're about getting things done, challenging traditions, and starting a few of our own. You see, we find new ways to do things. We like our way of living and taking care of our land. Who are we? We are Kubota. I've been Claritin Clear for 10 days. When your allergy symptoms start, doctors recommend taking one Claritin every day of your allergy season for continuous relief. With powerful 24-hour non-drowsy Claritin, live Claritin Clear every day. Michael Tang, perfect through seven. Miko Walker, by the way, we have a sophomore in Tang and a freshman in Miko Walker, so... Well, be shocked if these guys don't book an appointment to be on the show, either in the team format or an individual format in future years. But a credit to the young talent, all the coaching and programs that are offered out there. Nah, no, not going to make it, but a front seven for Michael Tang. He found his shot at the absolute perfect time. No, he hasn't shot a spare here in seventh frame. No, it's been a while, <laughs> yes, but he's got a simple one here, so you've got to figure he's, I like his chances here. Has to feel a little relief. Your swing gets looser and looser the more strikes you the string together. And he can still make a spare when he has to. Any mixed doubles tournaments coming up? I can you apply could use for him. Yeah, I could use him for. You know what? You'll have have a chance to chat with him uh, after the trophy presentation. I think you guys can work something out. This is what scouting's like, right? See all the young talent. Find a mixed doubles event to call him up for. Well, we talked about it at the start of the show, and we we've seen coming out of this event in the last several years some outstanding talent that is turning pro and doing well. Energy level and youth. Mm. Well, last year, Francois Lavoie from Wichita State won this event, made an incredible run at the Masters. That you don't have to necessarily be a four year player to be a champion in this singles. The competition gets better every year without question. Michael Tang, your winner. We'll meet our winner when we return. Looks like the Garcia's got a new car. What'd they get? I don't know. Sure doesn't look like a Buick. Buick, Buick, Buick. I'm outside. Where are you? I'm right here. I'm in the Buick. 
I don't see a Buick. Take a fresh look at Buick. It just might surprise Ooh, you. That's not a Buick. That's what I told him. Wow. This is nice. Oh, my. During the Buick Spring Sales Event, get nearly 7,200 total value on specially equipped 2015 Enclave models. For competitors of all ages, bowling is for life. And USBC is with you every step of the way. USBC and you, a future for the sport. The General is not your grandma's car insurance company. Check us out. At The General, you can get affordable car insurance online or over the phone in just minutes, regardless of your driving record. The down payment and monthly payments are low, and you choose your due date. Get an anonymous free quote now. For a great low rate you can get online, go to The General and save some time. That is a pretty good breakfast. You're not even eating. Not hungry. No? Why not? What's up? Kath and I knew that Jenny had been partying a bit. Found out she tried heroin. Most people don't know what to say about drugs, but we do. Visit us at drugfree.org. service safety message from the American Academy of Orthopedic Surgeons who want to keep everyone well connected Sorry. with strong healthy bones. The Men's X Bowling Intercollegiate Singles Championships on CBS Sports Network is being brought to you by Kegel. Your lanes are passion. And by Storm, the Bowlers Company. With a powerful 259 in the championship match, Michael Tang from San Jose State, the Collegiate Player of the Year, is your ex bowling intercollegiate men's singles champion. Let's bring Tim Menard in from X Bowling to give you your trophy back since you took it. You can now keep it. This is all yours and a beautiful bull of a watch as well. Congratulations. You earned it. Congratulations. Well, Michael, that was a rather dramatic improvement from 169 to 259. What adjustments did you make? Uh, the lanes broke down a little bit. I was able to go to a ball down, the hypercell skid from the hypercell, and I was able to shim the middle a little bit, had a little bit of bounce right, and got it to the pocket easier. You talked with us earlier about the significance of what this would all mean to you. Now you've got the hardware in your hand. Has it sunk in? I can't even grasp it right now. It's, this is ridiculous to have my parents here, <laughs> my brother behind me all week. Um, to bring a national championship back to San Jose State, it's, it's truly an honor. Well, congratulations, a worthy champion, Michael Tang. And folks, just a sophomore, he may be back. For information on the 2016 Intercollegiate Championships, log on to the official website at bowling. Be sure to join us next week for more college bowling from North Rock Lanes in Wichita, Kansas. For my partner, Kelly Kulik, and our entire CBS Sports Network crew, this is Dave Lamont saying so long from the 2015 X Bowling Intercollegiate Singles Championship. In association with the United States Bowling Congress and Winkler Productions, this has been a presentation of CBS Sports Network, the home of CBS Sports. Congratulations to our champion, Michael Tang.